Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and I'm going to talk a little bit about the iPhone, most notably Google Reader. Today, Google Reader has announced a brand new interface for Google Reader for the iPhone and the iPhone version was already optimized and uh, there has been updates since then with this new beta version. Now if you go to google.com slash reader on your iPhone today, you won't see this new interface just yet. What you have to do is you have to append a slash i to the end of that to get to the beta site because it's not for public consumption yet. But they posted today on the Google Reader blog for you to access the site. I've already put a shortcut right on my screen here called Reader Beta. It's right under Reader there and I've already made a shortcut to it and that takes me to google.com slash reader slash i as you can see it's a much more streamlined interface a lot of things load in line now you don't have to load separate pages as you did before you see two main buttons at the top there's a refresh button on the right and a feeds button on the left and at the bottom of the page if I scroll to the bottom here make sure I don't click on anything I also have a link to the fees as well as some uh, sign out links and most the, the thing that surprised me the most is that they called the other version classic and this one the mobiles but this is a beta site but this shows me by default all items now the thing that I use Google Reader the most with is with tags so I'm gonna go to my feeds and here it displays all my items and I have 126 items I have my start items shared items and look there's a new thing called notes you may remember that Google Reader added the ability to add notes to your shared items and I can also see friend shared items and then it gets into my tags and I have several tags for all of my different outlets of RSS feeds and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and go to tech news which has a total of what's that 36 and it loads pretty fast. I have all of these sites that are under my text news and you can see all the different site names. Let's go to, I don't know, let's go to Kotaku. And you can see it loads it in line, a little bit more Ajax interface. And a big star is on the left of it. So I can star this story if I want to come back and read it and unstar it right from here. Oops, I missed the button. I actually tapped the article and uh, you can see it pretty much goes up and goes down right within this interface it doesn't really take that long to load as you can see it popped down pretty fast and if you tap it again it kind of pops up so a lot of these things load in line and it's definitely optimized for the iPhone interface and I tried this over edge as well and it's actually pretty snappy so I can actually read my RSS articles within Google Reader on my iPhone very easily now one of the things that uh, Let's drill down to this story here. One of the things that I was hoping was there was the ability to add notes. Now we can view our current notes for this article. Down here I have see original where I can see the original article. I can share it from here or I can tap this and do keep unread but I can't add a note. And just so you know what notes are I'm going to go back to my feeds here. Go back one more and tap on notes and these are all the items that I have shared within Google Reader which have notes and they're gray so if I tap on those you'll see at the top it has a little picture of me and it says not good for sprint if this guy is right that is the note that I added to this particular particular article that sprint may sell assets as loss grows so customers leave blah 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 and I said it's not good for sprint so you can add notes to several articles that you uh, share out within Google Reader. This is a new feature they just added a couple weeks ago. But, you know, you, you can see them on your iPhone, but you can't add any. So I'm hoping that they add that in a future revision. So this is Google Reader for the iPhone, the new beta version. Those are the highlights of the new features. I highly recommend you check it out if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone because it is definitely streamlined. They have made it better, but there's definitely some ways to improve it even more. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Enjoy Google Reader.